Stolen Valor. These great videos on the internet called uh, Stolen Valor videos. Have you seen those? You should Google them because they're these people and they have the most audacity you can imagine. They're wearing the uniform, pretending to be soldiers. Why are you wearing the uniform? Because I like to. Why, why, Wait, you, are you really recording this guy? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's called Stolen Valor. Can I see your ID? That's Stolen Valor. The next Stolen Valor, right there. You know that's called Stolen Valor? No, it's not. It is a federal crime for I you to be wearing that uniform right now. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And what you can do is get out of my face right now. Because I'm a military police officer also. Yeah, yeah where's, your, where's your MP where's your badge? MP badge. MP badge? Yes. It's in my car. Get the f out of here and stop pretending to be but a But I'm going to go run around your side, Navy SEAL. Stolen Valor. Can someone check if there's also a law about soldiers slapping the sh out of civilians? <laughs> Those were real soldiers confronting people pretending to be soldiers. Stolen valor! <laughs> sure, technically it's a felony, but I say those imposters are still heroes. Fake boobs don't make me any less horny than real ones. <laughs> They're out there risking possible embarrassment just to get free appetizers or a chick's number. That's courage in my book. What are the real soldiers even fighting for if not for our freedom to impersonate them? <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of dressing for the job you want? <laughs> That's why I'd like to award these next guys with the highest honor the fake military can bestow, the golden chicken heart. So the cover says U.S. Army. Stay put. The uniform says U.S. Air Force, and you said you were in what branch? Army. Army. And your name is Ronnie? Yeah. What rank were you in the Army? What rank? Yeah, what rank were you? Sniper? You were a sniper? In pause, pause! This situation is foobar! Get your story straight, Ronnie! Be all you can pretend to be! You got a Marine Corps emblem on your wallet. You got an Air Force uniform on with no name tape, no rank. And you're wearing a freaking U.S. Army cover, go fasters, and you got freaking headphones in? People are gonna think I made this shit up, Ronnie. Air Force shirt, Army hat, and a Marine wallet. F you, Navy, nobody wants to pretend to be a sailor. So you're in second bat, Rangers? Yep. There it is. Where's your combat patch at? Uh, I gave it to a little kid again. All right, why is your flag so low on your shoulder? It should be up here. Got me on that one, bud. Stolen Valor at its finest. Listen, if a meatball sandwich can be called a hero, then so can this guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just finished 12 tours at the food court. <laughs> You're in the Army? Yes, sir. Don't worry, we're an RPG patch. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm a veteran for money. We're in an Army soldier uniform. Sir, you not a veteran? Yes, I am. Sir. No, you're a This guy deserves the Medal of Power Walking. <laughs> take off my uniform. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, make that homeless guy take off his clothes. He's had it too good in this country for too long. <laughs> I actually recently got out of the army, and it's called Stolen Valor. It's, it's I am not stealing anybody's valor, sir. I swear to God, if I had any other things to put on this morning, I would have done it. It was 4 o'clock this morning. I went into my son, my son's uh, stepson's closet. I grabbed some shit, I threw it on, and I slept all the way to the, to the opera. Yeah, hand. see? It was laundry day. He had nothing else to wear. Troops don't have a monopoly on camo. It's very fashionable. He didn't even realize he was wearing a matching hat, shirt, and pants until he received a free coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not brave enough to steal Valor, but I have no issue with borrowing it from time to time. Here's a free plate of loaded skins for our soldier. Thank you for your service. Hey, man, you a veteran? Uh, yes. I fought for America during the Revolutionary War. Who is your commander? Paul Revere. Yeah, you realize you're wearing a British uniform, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Because I am a spy. Okay, then where's your British accent? You wanker! I forgot! Have some Sam Adams on the Queen! We got to save the Queen! Yes! Yay, the Queen! Right, Lightfoots have short jackets, so why is yours so long? I stretched it. How do you load gunpowder into a matchlock musket? Mmm, that's easy. Very carefully. <laughs> okay, you don't have a sense of humor. You know your tricorn hat is on backwards, right? Uh, to rally the team. The war was over 200 years ago. Okay, listen, I'm just trying to get some strange Could you Stolen Valor! Okay. Stolen Valor! Stolen Valor! Stolen Valor! To be clear, I was not pretending to be a soldier. I was a nutcracker. <laughs>
Want to know why no one ever invades the Philippines? <laughs> Sergeant, permission to speak freely. Can we please come up with a different secret handshake? God, his pimp hand is strong. Somebody needs to watch some old Three Stooges. A little defense. more before 9 a.m. than most pussies do all day. <laughs> now let's salute one of the few and not so proud in this week's breakdown. What's with the pepper spray? Are they teaching our boys to fend off rapists? It's a good thing Bin Laden didn't have any in his purse or he would have shut down SEAL Team 6 with one squirt. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 did not prepare him for this shit. You're doing good. I hope Private Pyle uses Johnson's baby shampoo. I think the pad is winning. I'm pretty sure that IED magnet isn't the guy who slays the dragon in those marine commercials. You're doing good. You're doing good. If that's considered good, it's probably time we all start learning Chinese. Good. Next station. Let's go. I'm not, I'm not sure everybody was dead at the last station. <laughs> you might need to go back. This is your tax dollars at work, America. Gas prices are never going down again. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Strobe them. Strobe them. Sometimes when your eyes are burning and you think you're going to die, you have to ask yourself, is free community college really worth this? It's OK. Turns out Uncle Sam was pointing at a different guy. I'm just glad Operation Weed Out Nancy Boy was a success. And for that, we say hoo ya. There's lots of feel good moments behind the scenes here at Tosh.0, but I don't share them with you because I have a douchey reputation to uphold. But in the spirit of the 4th of July, there's a guy on our staff whose sister's been serving in Afghanistan for the last three years. Sure. And we got to surprise him. Now, I know these reunion videos are cheesy, but it's impossible to watch these siblings and not get emotional. I have a surprise for Joe. This can't be good. <laughs> Sissy. Oh. I think it's kind of hot, as long as they're happy. Roll time. And their cousins are gonna be so mad. Thank you for your service. <laughs> you gotta support the troops, even the racist brother fuckers from Alabama. Ooh, we got a two for one Tuesday on drunk clips. Ну погнали, короче, давай. Только полбу. Тихо, тихо. Oh, just because you run out of vodka doesn't mean you can't black out. Now, let's see why you shouldn't get concussed without a guaranteed NFL contract in this week's breakdown. Welcome to the Virgin Islands. Just kidding, it's Russia. Can't you feel the sadness? The hideous wallpaper in this bunker is the nicest scenery in that godforsaken hellhole of a country. The sanctions are working. This is a lot like that Netflix show Russian Doll. Painful to watch. <laughs> Domestic violence is legal in Russia. Not relevant to this video, but totally true. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is one sexy contusion. Looks like he's being permanently teabagged. <laughs> the only thing more beautiful than the Russian language is a Russian laugh. 
Don't pass out. Your buddies will try to go to third base with your forehead pussy. <laughs> Wait a second. That guy's got a stump. So that's why he was trying to break the bottle. It takes two hands to unscrew a cap. Uh, without drunk Russians, this show would have ended six seasons ago. And for that, we thank you. Here's some top secret footage of Bangladesh's most elite fighting force. I'm told the screaming scrambles our drones tracking technology, rendering them useless. I'm not sure they defeat our Civil War reenactors. They're poking holes in that giant potato for the microwave. Make no mistake, the taters have reached their baking point. This is our Potato Skin Dependence Day for Idaho. I got chills. You say potato, I say goddamn war heroes. I always do an April Fool's prank on my mom and stuff. I took this letter and it basically states that I want to leave high school early to join the army. Hey Brad! Huh? This is a great letter. I was gonna tell you guys tonight. I didn't think they were gonna send it this soon. What? This is the truth. What? It's the truth. What? Instead of going to college? Yeah. Oh no, Brad. Are you serious? I'm very serious. I'm not your brain. You're my heart. Oh, oh my. really? I can't do it because I'm so sick. I can't do it. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, no, mom, so come so here. Come here. Mom. mom. Listen, I don't give a what Ari Manuel says. Either Abby Breslin shows full bush or she's off the picture. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Mr. DreamWorks, I gotta go. How's it going, Brad? Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Big fan, love your video. That's me selling it. I don't know if you know this about me, Brad, but I'm a bit of a prankster myself. Watch this. Uh, can you come in here for a second? Hey, uh, I forgot to tell you, at lunch your mom called, and yeah, your dad passed away. I'm sorry. What? What did I say about showing emotion in the office? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, right? Sure, but maybe you shouldn't joke about people's parents dying. Well. Okay, that wasn't the joke. Your dad is f***ing dead. Uh, Where are you from? Uh, Richmond, Virginia. How old's that video? Four years ago. I was a senior in high school when I did it. Okay. And I'm a senior at Tech right now. What do you think's more dangerous? Uh, going to war or Virginia Tech? War, definitely. You're touching your junk a lot. Is that just a nervous habit, or does a mom make you do that? Uh, what is going on? I have no idea. I didn't even, the first time I saw the video, I didn't even know. Are you scratching? What are you doing? Are you just, mo are you adjusting? What's happening down there? Sometimes it's adjusting. Uh, sometimes with the boxers, it can get in the way. Or you might have a massive, you know, member. That's what I like to think. I feel for you. Just tell me why you did that video. I always do like an April Fool's prank on my mom. I had everything planned out, Virginia Tech going there. And I knew she was gullible with a letter because they did a fake letter the year before. How many times have you April Fool's pranked her? Probably four times. Yeah, I mean, you think she just set like a reminder. Hey, yeah. this is the day I don't take anything seriously. <laughs> Does your mom have an accent? Yeah, she's from Australia. She sounds like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> How did it feel to see your mother cry? I don't know, I just didn't feel like it's going too far until she um, headed into the garage. Would it be, it'd be funny yeah. if that was the last time you ever saw your mother. Yeah. <laughs> what other pranks have you done on her? Where she got a letter from the school saying I was selling drugs. But I do it to other people. My brother didn't get into a college he wanted to, and I sent a letter saying we made a mistake and you got in. That's and, a solid prank. Yeah, I did the Craigslist where I posted a bunch of stuff that was way too cheap and I put my friends' numbers on there so they got calls all throughout the day. But they got me back. Someone put a sign on the back of my car that said like, I love big black <laughs> Yeah. 
someone got me back for once. So did you go home and, and really give it to your mom that night or no? <laughs> did she didn't do it? She didn't do oh, it. No, okay. that, oh. if my mom did that, oh, I'd give her a high five because that would be awesome. What kind of underwear do you wear? <laughs> oh, boxers. Never wear briefs. What about boxer briefs? Too tight for me. I, I used to always be boxers, yeah. and then recently I've, I've switched to, to boxer briefs. Why is that? I don't know. You think maybe maybe the old age, maybe my, maybe gravity is catching up with me, is, is, you know, and I don't I don't want my balls to hang as low as they are. It's weird how your balls start to hang lower and lower, but 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 the same doesn't happen to your penis. Yeah. My balls clearly are winning the race. All right, with those wandering hands, you are perfect for my new hidden camera prank show. It's called Junked. Welcome to Junked. I'm your trendy douche of a host. And this hilarious bit, my boy Brad's gonna be a waiter. Hope he washed his hands. Cause he's gonna be touching his balls. Oh man, why would you ever leave this job? It's so easy. Instead, you go do that piece of shit, two and a half men. Bad call. All right, Brad, the world wants to know, you ready to give it another shot? Grab both your gonads for yes. All right, well, was that a yes? Okay, good. Ask those ladies if they want something to sip on. Remember, keep your hand on your junk. Hey, ladies, um, do you want something to sip on? Sure. Do you want to order now or should I come back? Do you want to order right now or should I come back? Uh, yeah. Okay, just, just stay there. Can you stop touching yourself? No, that's it. Go, go, go. You're on Junked. This is a TV show. Stop touching yourself now. He's in on it. There's cameras everywhere. That's not even a real order. It's like five pieces of spring mix. What do you read on your Kindle? It's an iPad, you dumb shit. He doesn't even know because it's not his. All right, go give them the bread. Say, I got some bread for you guys. I got some bread for you guys. Thanks. Tear the bread for them and put it on their plate. What the hell, dude? I'm not eating that. Got it. I got it. Go. 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 Oh, you dumb, big, stupid assholes. You're on junk. <laughs> Quit touching your <laughs> This guy's not real. <laughs> He's an actor. They're all actors. There's cameras. There's a camera right here in plain sight, and I can't believe you didn't notice this guy. Take away her other chair since she has no one in her life. I'm just gonna clear this away since you, you don't have anyone in your life. Why are you rubbing your privates? Okay, good, go, go. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Lady, you're on my new hidden camera show called Junked. Stop touching your wiener. This guy's in on it. This is his shirt's wet. You don't even think that's weird? Okay, bring him another bottle of hot sauce and say just in case. Just in case. Say which one of you is a bigger tipper? Which one of you is a bigger tipper? Are you for real? Kidding, I know who it is. Kidding, I know who it is. You know what, I really don't like your attitude, man. I really don't like you grabbing your junk. Go, go, that's it, that's it. What's wrong with you? You're on junk, mother <laughs> There's cameras everywhere, stop touching your <laughs> <laughs> no. No From all of us at Junk, peace out. <laughs>